Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. You hear us talk about the Level 1 Trauma Center at Atrium Health Navicent. It's one of just five in the entire state. The American College of Surgeons says there are a total of only 184 in the United States. And Macon's just got nationally certified again. Camila Williams live outside of Atrium Health Navicent to tell you what that means for your care and what it also means for the community. Yeah, good evening, Frank and Lori. Atrium Health Navicent has the staff, the accessibility, and the education to be a level one trauma center. I spoke with a trauma manager who says having that extra designation allows them to treat even the most severely injured patients. To be a trauma center, a level one trauma center costs about $6 million. It's pricey to be ready to take care of the most severely injured patients. If it could be a traumatic brain injury or just a orthopedic injury, but it could be a very severe orthopedic injury. In 2016, Atrium became a nationally recognized level one trauma center. They are the only one in central and south Georgia. With Wellstar close in Atlanta, that means there are only five trauma centers in the state. She says what sets level one apart from the other levels is the volume. We have over 1,200 patients a year. We had 4,000 last year. We have grown about anywhere from 7 to 10% in the volume of patients we see every year. Research around the clock surgeons and trauma management are some of the qualities needed to achieve level one status. It takes teamwork. Those paramedics, those EMTs, they know when they see a patient and they're assessing them, they know how critical they are. And so they may go past another hospital to get to the trauma center. John says trauma units are funded through the state as part of a super speeder fund. The money goes to the hospital and other needs. Based on the number of patients you see that are un considered uncompensated, care. Some of it is to help pay for the services of running a trauma program. Now the ACS verification is valid for three years and the other uh, level one trauma centers are in uh, Atlanta and in Augusta. So it helps to save lives across central and south Georgia in Macon. Camila Williams, 13 W Amazing News. Thank you, Camila. Atrium has the second largest trauma population, the first Grady Hospital in Atlanta. We're taking a closer look at the distinction of a level one trauma center and why Georgia is down to five. A level one trauma center requires availability of care in a variety of specialties like neurosurgery, pediatric care and critical care. Level one centers are also required to research and reach trauma management and develop new innovations in trauma care. For Atrium, that includes adding its third Da Vinci robot to use for minimally invasive surgeries. The hospital says they've been a leader in robotic surgery in Georgia for 15 years. The robot helps surgeons use more precise movements and will let the hospital offer more of these types of surgery for emergency and critical care patients. Last, year's doc last year, doctors performed 900 robotic surgeries at Atrium.